The reason for this call, we had one back in February when uh, we were just about to go into the March gateway that kind of landed 5D, 7D dynamics. And now we're going into, um, through the, the intel that I've received, we're going into this period of, that we're in, this period of destabilization of the old Earth grid systems in order to fully shift to the new Earth grid system exclusively. And there was all of a sudden, you know, this was supposed to be a year without dates. It was supposed to be a year where we're just flowing into the now. And all of a sudden they're like, get everyone together this day, that day, that day, this is coming in, that's coming in. And I was, it's just, it, it's bizarre. You know, it's bizarre to, to work in that way again. I mean, we have our, our unified Sunday meditations. And if you're in the private Facebook group, which will um, deliver instructions on how to join that if you want. Um, we, we've been very in the moment with like, well, I'm here, I'm there and everything, but there are still these trigger points happening. And my connection is with the cosmic stargates and with the solar gateways. So that um, that's presenting for right now. And everything that I've received is about preparing for another sh dramatic shift again in June. So the stuff, the kind of rocking and rolling stuff that we're going on right now, going uh, through right now, has to do with destabilization of the old magnetic grids, which has been going on for a while, but it's kind of on, you know, 11 right now. <laughs> the volume got really turned up on that um, just in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I just briefly, I want to share that um, I've had opportunities to get together with Light Tribe. We just had a Light Tribe gathering of um, 150 people in Sedona, and then a second event that had a, a little bit of a smaller group. But we were doing timeline work, and we were doing grid work and gate work with those gatherings. Um, my Light Tribe gathering was two days, and we launched new timelines and higher new earth trajectories because now we're moving fully and completely into focusing on teaching humans how to create in that 5D, 7D, 9D space rather than destroying the old or whatever because that stuff is so, so getting taken care of right now. It's, it's beautiful. And that's, again, that's part of the destabilization is to, it's like Jenga, you know, we've been pulling out the pieces and now we're shaking the table, you know, so that that structure falls. And some of the intel that I've received is that the old earth reality, which is, you know, it's all holographic, but that that old earth reality is going to fade. You know, it's only got like a few decades left. So it's interesting because they've always said, it's not that you're going to ascend to something that people can't see. The lower realities are going to fall away. So that's kind of interesting. And simultaneously to that is this um, new level light body activation that's going on right now, where there are some people in the light tribe that are actually choosing to go light body like this year. And that experience too is supported by this destabil destabilization of the old magnetics and the shifting of the magnetics fully to the new earth grid system where that grid system and those gateways, specifically gateways, because that's my um, higher experiences with the gateways, bringing in that light encoded plasma photonic stuff that's actually providing uh, support for that next level experience, which is why we've been focusing on um, directing people's attention away from any kind of waiting game programs, waiting game dynamics completely. And uh, uh, unfortunately with the, the kind of things that I talk about, sometimes I get lumped in with people who are talking about like reval programs and things like that. I don't receive any information on reevaluation of currency, financial systems, people mailing Vietnamese dong to China and getting millions of dollars back, you know, 800 numbers that has nothing to do with me, just to be clear. Um, but I do receive emails from people that kind of lump me into that group. So just for clarity, 
I don't receive anything like that. Okay, so this destabilization of the magnetics and the shifting to the new earth grid is fully supporting everybody who's going light body, everybody who is moving into their actual uh, identity and merge with their, with their higher self, Christ itself, whatever you want to call it. So this lack of identity or losing identity thing is actually just the reality that happened at the end of 2012, because at the end of 2012, we became completely different beings, and it took us five years of this slow linear unfoldment to fully realize that, step into our mastery, and now everything is being handed over to us, which is another reason why I wanted to attempt to get to, um, gatekeepers and grid workers together so that if there's any similarity in our missions, we're able to work together and we're able to um, kind of pull these cosmic triggers at, at the same time. Um, and, uh, but, the, but the thing with destabilization of the magnetic grids is lightworkers tend to um, go into, well, that earthquake happened, let's go there and fix it. Or, you know, they're like sending light all over the planet after something happens. Um, so in our mastery, we know it's consistency. You know, that's what the Sunday Unity Meditation is about. That's where, why we get the heads up on when these plasma fields are going to be blasting the planet so that we're prepared and we're focused and you're not dealing with things afterward. We're always um, embodying that future kind of precog um, self, you know, that's in the now, but also knows and feels what's coming. I hope that makes sense. So um, I'm just going to go over what I've, uh, what I've received for May, which sets us up for June. Now, obviously, the destabilization thing is also assisting our ascension process because it's getting rid of our old identity and all the flotsam of what we were that we haven't been for five years plus um, and fully supporting us going multidimensional into the new earth grid system. So in my intel, and it, it to me, it does not matter if you're still focused on trying to clear pyramids or sacred sites or whatever like that. That's fine. Whatever you're called to do, you do it. But in my perspective, all of that stuff is past and all that stuff is crumbling very quickly. Um, so it's even going to Sedona, which was kind of fun because um, I'm there to you know create higher timelines and move the collective consciousness into uh, the now and you know through this work that we've been doing, and there's been there's going to be four of these New Earth Now events to infuse the collective consciousness with creating with that freedom. It's all about freedom. All of May is about freedom, even though it feels like ugh, you know like the grounds coming out from under you. It's just the old platform. Um, but as we go fully into these energies, there's opportunities where we can still um, focus on the crystalline bridges to the new earth, which is something that I've been writing about for a little while. But uh, May is like this, this beautiful shakeup. So um, here's just what I received, and then I'll open it up to what others have received. Um, May 12th, a focus on uh, solar and crystal beds. So if, if you're involved in working with um, the crystal beds or the higher dimensional version of that, the crystalline consciousness beings, um, or if you have a direct connection to Solaris, the sun, or the cosmic stargates, um, join me on May 12th, being very focused on those. And if you're a gatekeeper opening up, if you're um, a grid keeper, you can open up as well. Um, but please focus on new earth grid system because we're that realignment that we talked about in the last call, that, that 23 degree shift, um, that is going to become very prominent over the next couple of months that that is happening. And in the physical, it doesn't mean that the planet's going to tip up like this. It's all dimensional. It's a dimensional core of Gaia. You know, Gaia's already ascended. She's fine. You know, if you talk to 70, 90 guys, she's absolutely fine. So it's just a matter of migrating the realities. Um, and we do that through these uh, ancient structures underground that um, just got activated last month. And that was pretty cool. I looked at 
cosmic disclosure and they had a picture of those underground structures and little octahedra and I'm like, oh my gosh, there they are. So they had the same pictures, which is kind of interesting. But uh, May 12th is solar crystal beds. Uh, the 13th we have, I'm calling it Divine Mother's Day because in the US it's, it's Mother's Day. But um, there's this beautiful frequency of this crystalline divine feminine, divine mother energy coming in. And we're going to be kind of broadcasting that through the Sunday Unity Meditation. So if you can join it at all and hold that intention, um, you know, pretty much everything, even though the, the destabilization of the magnetics is more of a masculine operation because it's, it's kind of tearing down a physical um, structure, a, a, a structure that's related to the physical, which is divine masculine. Um, the divine feminine is that autonomous photonic light that's coming in that is aimed at people's hearts and consciousness. You know, it's, it's, not, um, it's not this physical here and there or good and bad and everything. And we can feel that, uh, that light breaking apart those dynamics, even in our own life streams, you know, there's just judgments gone, old self's gone, moving into this light body thing, being okay with it. You know, we can really feel that frequency of that, um, you know, what's traditionally called a divine mother or divine feminine energy, which is just the background energy for creation, for a new creation. Uh, on May 15th, Tuesday, vital new moon, because it's the beginning of a, a, a gateway passage, the 15th through the 22nd, um, begins with the new moon and then ends on the 22nd. And there's a peak, a cosmic trigger on the May 19th. And unfortunately, I have an event, but it's only for a couple of hours in the middle of the day. Um, but every other part of, of that day, and of course, in, in, the, in the days before that, um, I'm going to be focused on the cosmic stargates. And if anyone's had interaction or has interaction with the cosmic stargates, if you would join me in the etheric in, uh, in working on that, I go up on the mountain, I'll be preparing for that. Um, and I forget when Lorenz, I think Lorenz event is um, in the morning. So I'll probably go to the mountain in the afternoon. And these things are always um, extremely well-timed. So I'm not canceling the event or anything like that. It's, um, but I'll, I'll hit the, the cosmic stargates in the afternoon on the 19th. And then on May 29th, we have a full moon. That's kind of the end of this initiation into the June energies, which includes the solstice, which is incredibly powerful. We've got a huge openings coming through Mount Shasta right now as the gatekeeper of Mount Shasta. There's, um, there's been a lot of shifts going on here when I was in Sedona. Uh, it became urgent, you know, when you get that message, it's like, you have to be home the day before the full moon, you know, that kind of thing. And I was like, just blasting out of Yosemite, you know, which is six and a half hours uh, away from Shasta. And I thought I was going to stay overnight. And they're like, mm -mm, get home. So um, had to get home. And there was a lot of shifts. And even in Sedona, it was, there, there was, obviously, there was a lot of work going on. I got to my condo rental and there was a life-size model of Excalibur, the sword <laughs> hanging in the bedroom <laughs> over the bed. And I was like, okay, uh, I guess I know what I'm here for. And Sedona felt very, um, uh, again, it was this magnetic shift. So there were little trigger points that had to be opened up so that, that you know, again, the crust is loose. Don't think of it as like she's tilting. Um, but uh, it has to do with, you know, the, again, the shifting magnetics to allow the full opening of the crystalline bridges and those gateways that we've created. When I said, you know, the new earth grid system went vertical last year, it's, it's just the opening of the gateways. And like now my consciousness, I'll just share like my, my personal journey too. And I, I welcome you to, uh, to share your perspective too. I see rainbow light everywhere, that kind of 5D, 7D crystalline light not just when I close my eyes, but like everywhere, the mountain is lit up with it, the trees, everything. It appears that all of this, again, is um, uh, our unification, is preparation for um, this June solstice event, but all these different gateways are happening this month. So again, our unification in unconditional love, in pure service to Gaia, in pure service to 
what she has become rather than what she was um, appears to be the focus. So that's what I have to share right now. And there'll be more as we go along. Thank you.